What's up Guardians, Profane here, thanks for checking out the video. Today we are talking about the new exotic quest that has been confirmed to be released for Season of the Splicer, an exotic quest that should be released within the upcoming weeks. Now a few weeks ago I brought up my initial theories about a new exotic being released this season and frankly I was kind of shocked at how many Guardians out there were in disbelief of a new exotic. So today, I want to break down all the evidence that we have discovered so far this season that confirms the existence of a new exotic within Season of the Splicer, along with a ton of new content that has yet to be seen. So let's begin. Evidence entry number one. Let's take a step back to the beginning of the season. Tangled Shore, Kingship Dock. A new mysterious Vex construct appears with a set of oracles that to this day remains a mystery. What purpose does this construct serve and why would it be inserted into the game at the beginning of the season without purpose? Unless this is a step stowed away in a quest that has not been released yet and was simply added into the game early or by mistake. Whatever its purpose is, it would not be here without one. Now, Season of the Splicer did, however, begin with a few other mysteries like the Mystery Exotic Scout Rifle that was listed in the API. And at first, this was believed to be a new exotic scout rifle. Many even theorized over it being Touch of Malice and that it would arrive sometime this season. But it was discovered that this was actually just a placeholder for an ornament for the dead man's tail, completely ruling out this early theory. Our next evidence entry is an entry directly into the database, an entry for a quest titled As Prophesized. Now, this quest has not yet been released, but if you look at the description for each step, there will be an urgent message available at the helm, where guardians will pick up a broadcast for Lichmi. Now, this broadcast looks to warn of a Vex incursion as the next step sends Guardians to the last city, to the Elixni camp, to defend off an Vex incursion. Now, it seems that Saint-14 will be in the mix within this quest along with Mithrax, and we've already seen both of them involved heavily throughout this story, creating their own little arc between the two and really just setting up a conflict between the alliance between Mithrax and the Alinsky and the Vanguard. Now, if we take what we know from this quest and put it alongside entry number three, the future of this season's finale begins to get a little more clear. Now, when Solstice of Heroes launched, while Guardians were busy enjoying the splendors of this year's event, a mysterious fallen catch arrived and has been stationed above the last city for the last two weeks now. But for what purpose? Well, it would appear that the fallen, in their attempts to rally and flee, are now going to be hunted by the Vex and possibly even Zavathun. Now, the last city holds more evidence for our exotic quest than what we've discussed so far. As many are already aware, there are scannables scattered across the last city, but what many have failed to notice is a new interactable door that does not seem to be accessible yet, located in the ruins of the front left as you spawn into the last city. Additionally, it was discovered several weeks ago that beneath the last city, within the Scourge of the Past raid area, there is a Vex portal and a hidden chest that have been added into the game since the beginning of the season, which make it likely that the door that we cannot access right now will inevitably lead us down into the underbelly of the Scourge of the Past to fight off this Vex incursion, where at the end we will ultimately be rewarded with something out of this chest, which in all likelihood would be a new exotic weapon. Coverage on that was provided by Jarv using an amazing wall breach technique to actually go underneath the last city 
and that's where they were able to discover this hidden chest and Vex portal. So what does this tell us so far? Well, we have an upcoming event, possibly even a community event, a Vex incursion on the Elixni, a confirmed quest, a return to the Scourge of the Past Underbelly, and a reward at the end of it all. But that's not where the buck stops. Our next evidence entry comes from Bungie themselves. At the launch of Solstice of Heroes, Guardians were forced to reclaim already acquired triumphs and lore, but one new thing that Guardians received out of this was not actually supposed to be released yet. It was the 10th page of the Splicer lore book, called Memorial, a new entry to this lore that seems to take place after the events that Guardians will discover with the As Prophesized quest. And there's a lot that can be taken from this newest entry. Now, it does appear that throughout this Vex incursion, the Fallen and the Vanguard actually become allies. And most notably, one of our own looks to be lost as a result of this incursion, which most likely will be Lishmi based on everything else we've seen this season. The entry goes on into detail over Saint, Ikora, and Mithrax mourning, along with a Dreg and his family. No mention of Osiris is made, as it would appear that we may actually get the big reveal that Osiris has been Zavathun all along. Now what stands out to me here is the continuous use of this Dreg, and I'll come back to that here in a minute. So let's look at this evidence so far. We have Vex constructs and portals that we can't really do anything yet. A mysterious catch above the last city. A new quest that has not been released. A hidden chest. And a dreg who mourns with the vanguard after an alliance forms from these ashes. Well guys, all that's missing here to me is a promise. Maybe a dreg's promise to Ikora and the vanguard that we will fight the darkness together? The puzzle pieces are surely starting to fall into place in my eyes. So will the dregs promise be returning as a reward for defending the last city and the Elixni? Even though I earlier theorized that the Necrochasm would be the returning exotic, I'm starting to kind of feel it in my bones here that the dregs promise could be the returning exotic. It could even be tech like this or other weapons that the Vex are after and that's why they're going through the Vex portal under the Scourge of the Past. Now the Dregs Promise is the only Fallen themed weapon that we have not seen return to Destiny 2 so far. Lord of Wolves and Queensbreaker have both been out for some time now, which has already given fans the spark needed to desire the return of the Dregs Promise. This exotic sidearm held unique characteristics, which is to be expected from a Fallen themed weapon. In Destiny 1, Dreg's Promise fired off a volley of ricocheting arc bullets. It was never a top tier exotic, but it was still a formidable weapon. So having it return into Destiny 2 will hopefully mean it'll have a few new twists to keep us using it. Whether it is, in fact, the Dreg's Promise or another weapon, it's too early to know for sure. The jury is still out. It is beyond clear though that we have the confirmation needed to know that we do have more content for the season, a new quest, and what appears to be a new exotic along with it. As far as when you should expect to see this new quest go live, along with this Vex incursion, I would expect to see it at the weekly reset once Solstice of Heroes concludes giving Guardians a few weeks to complete all of this season's story and activities before entering into Season 15. I'd love to know what you guys think of a new exotic quest, the Vex incursion, a possible return of Dreg's promise, Lichmi's death, all of that. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If so, be sure to hit that like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Both are greatly appreciated. Until next time though, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.